The women accused of witchcraft, time and time again, basically acquiesced in their fate. They agreed with all the accusations, and yeah, did that. But there was one thing which is interesting, which illustrates how their mentality was different from the mentality of what you might call the ruling class. The educated people, people like John Hill, the town clerk, who quoted their sources and authorities, they saw witchcraft as quite different. You know, this was the Malleus Maleficarum medieval version of witchcraft. The only thing the witches resisted and denied strongly was the accusation of image magic. They did not stick pins in any kind of fist fetish image or anything like that. That they drew the liner. That for them was what witchcraft was about and they didn't do it. All the other fanciful stuff that was fixed onto them by the psyche of their accusers, whether they were non-conformist men, women, or justice of the peace or the common rabble, they just didn't really care. They understood when they were accused of image magic. No, they didn't.